One more time. One more time, indeed. Make sure the settings are good here. I checked them earlier. Let's make sure. Audio, we should have subtitles on. Subtitles on. It's very cold. How cold? It was rainy here today, but previously on Dead Space. I know we just uh, played the game. Should we do the previously on Dead Space? Uh, Caesar, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if or when. I mean, I probably will play Dead Space 3 sometime, but I don't know when that'll be. I, I don't have a plan for it. It's not going to be tonight, and it's not on the schedule. Um, so I don't have a plan to play it alone or co-op, but if you can play through it co-op and it's better that way, maybe maybe that would be a good plan. But um, I don't know when. Caesar, I don't know when we're going to play Dar uh, Dead Space 3. Sometime. Someday. All right. Almost said Dark Souls. Oh, I keep saying different things. I think I keep saying Deep Space. In my head, I keep thinking Deep Space. Or yeah, Dark Space or Dark Souls or something. Uh, let's do previously. I just want to see their recap. By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption sought to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten, the religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Also, we thought. I go off camera for a second and munch a eat a little food. It did not bring salvation. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, come in here. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed.
Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. Cool. All right. So Isaac survived. His mind is not safe. It's a few months later. By the 25th century. Oh. Earth resort. Wait, hold on. I thought I was on new game. I thought they were about to do the recap again. Normal. Yeah, I don't think we need to step it up from normal. Especially because at this point I get a little shakier in the hands and a little more tired. So I won't be better at a shooter. I'll be getting a little bit worse as time goes on. And I'm not great at shooters. So I think normal. Uh, as you really want to see survivalist. We're not going to finish the game in the next eight hours. So we'll have to finish this at another point in October. Go with Zealot. That would be nice. Ammo and health are very scarce and enemies will brutalize you. Hey, when we go back to Last of Us, it's straight to Grounded. When we go back to Mass Effect, it's straight to Insanity. But I've never played this before. Quenchy time! Yeah, I think we'll do normal. Already, we're 16 hours into the stream and, uh, and I'm pretty loopy, so... Achy man jacked up on caffeine. Yeah, I just made a cup of tea. Um... Time for a little boodle. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, no, I'll call you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll try V. I'll just remember I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range then, Shank. You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. The Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? Yeah. It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. Oh, nice. You spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac. Nice. Isaac, can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? Alright, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. What? Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, God. Come on. The hell. In a straight jacket. Oh fuck. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. Yeah, sometimes it is. Rex. We actually safe? Oh, we're in a straight jacket. What can we do while we're in a straight jacket? save our game I'm glad it starts that way hey good morning morning Yankee swordsman welcome back damn got a plasma cutter we don't even have hands right now Oh! I, I'm not in control. Oh, now I am. Okay. Yeah, let's head towards the creepy stuff while we're in a straitjacket. Oh. Observation room. <laughs> the eyes looking much better today, yes, don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. It still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, 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 I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't care. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like, but I can't remember. The symbol, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. Fuck her. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Subject is Nolan Strauss, session 158. Now. Oh, my 
eyes looking much better today, yeah? Don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. Still hurts? Yeah, so I scheduled you from all traffic I didn't think he was okay, but... Come on, man. Thank you for... Oh. You. <laughs> Tidman said we... All the key subjects need to be eliminated. Listen. Terminated. <laughs> Which one more? Listen to me, man. Will it matter? Listen to Will me! Will it matter? We can both get out of here. <laughs> just... Just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Oh, Don't do it. Oh, nice. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. There's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. What a nice guy. Go ahead. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, they switched the button to use Isaac, a health kit. We're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Oh, man. That was somehow less shocking because it was only six hours ago when we watched a woman take a bone saw to her own throat so that that was a little less surprising damn pretty gruesome so this is not a plasma cutter we've got a flashlight yeah it wasn't a bone saw though so it just wasn't quite the same wasn't quite the same I love how the flashlight looks like a plasma cutter. Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Got a really powerful flashlight, watch out. So far, I like the intro to this quite a bit. Feels, actually feels well crafted. Or. How you doing, Wombat? We just finished uh, Dead Space 1, and just this is the beginning of Dead Space 2. Very beginning. You walked in, we were in a straitjacket. Hey, Razor, what's up? Hello, Dead Space 2. 
Yep, if that's what you were uh, hoping to see, you got good timing coming in now. Alright, I should, I should try to go through them. But it's dark and stuff. I can't run and use the flashlight, which is very scary. Nice. Good little jump scare. Been through this game right on. I've, I've never played it. 